everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampingCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks so much for joining me today for another live video tutorial. I thought I would share this week uh, our workshop projects that we did in our classes. So I normally have four classes a month that we do um, the same workshop projects. And they're all, um, all over the place. So um, this one... I wanted to share this is the one I want to share today we are using the stargazing suite okay we've got the um, reach for the stars stamp set reach for the stars bundle uh, or dies which have um, uh, they cut out lots of different circles which is great because our layering circles dies we don't have anymore and then it cuts out the images here, plus uh, some rings for the planets. We have our designer paper. We have some holographic paper. You know, anytime we get a new catalog, the first things I'm always going to order are if there are any funny or sarcastic sentiment sets. Um, I'm going to order anything related to space or music or coffee or, you know, science or something, you know, different. It's not, I don't gravitate towards the florals every time. Um, so this was one of the first sets that I got. Let me show you the products in there so you can see they're beautiful. It's not, it's, sometimes it's hard to tell in the catalog. This is the stamp set. So they're good big stamps. And I love space. Every time we have a space uh, related stamp set, I get that. I grew up in Florida. And I remember going out and watching, you know, the rockets would take off or the missions to, to the moon um, as a kid. And then, you know, later on the space shuttles. So I love this. Um, and then these are the dies. You can see I've been using them. These are the circles. And I'll show you the paper that this cuts out in a minute. And then we have a space shuttle, the astronaut rings. Then we also have some stars, some little fun bubbles uh, and different things. So... That is that. Let me show you this paper, which is gorgeous. So one side of every paper is like an, a space, um, space pattern. So they're more realistic. They're not kitty patterns and shows kind of the Milky Way. Then the other side of this one is this fun kind of orange bubbly color. I, the colors in this are great. Okay, then we have this one, a little bit different, and I love that it has some added color in there. And then this one has just blue on blue stars. Then this one has the pink and the blue. And then the back has a pink on pink stars. So great for baby cards. Then we have this one with like a big nebula thing. Love that. And then we have these green. And this would be really good for an underwater card as well. Then we have kind of a, a, a darker background. And just, you, it might be hard to tell, but it's got a little bit of lighter blue kind of mixed in. Then the other side is this gorgeous sheet of planets. Now, the circle dies cut these planets out. And I've taken several sheets of this. And I have cut out... Um, planets, all the planets. This one goes on here, and then we have a little one. Now, we have planets over on the sides that are, um, they're, you know, not a full planet, so if you don't want partial planets, take these dies, and you can cut out planets within the planets. So, you know, this one's, we can still get a little planet out of there. So don't let these, you know, be wasted. You can get another little planet. You could probably even almost get two planets out of this one little sliver on the side. All right. And even if you're cutting and it cuts, you know, you don't need this, the ring that's on there, unless you want to hand cut the ring, because I'll show you in a minute what we can do for that. All right. Then we have another one that's blue on blue. It's a little lighter blue on this one. And then look at these gorgeous planets. Same thing. And it's exactly the same pattern, just different colors. So this has the, the 
um, the blues, the greens, the purples, the dark pinks, and this one has the yellow oranges and then the purples. And it's got some of the coral colors. So, I mean, how beautiful are those colors? All right, now let me show you this holographic paper. All right, so we've got just a silver holographic paper. And then uh, this is what I used to cut my rings out for, for this card. But then we also have this really fun kind of patterned holographic paper. It's just so cool. And then we have kind of this ombre with the purple and pink. I haven't used these yet, but I will be using those. Okay. Such great, great um, papers. Let me set this somewhere. And then they go really well. This is my scrap bag. So you can see I've cut out all these planets that I'm going to use. We have these um, um, glossy dots. And for some reason, I had a whole bunch of purple and pink. So these went perfectly with all the workshop projects this month. I also did this card for a swap, a demonstrator swap, because I loved it so much. So I like to do a little double duty if I can. I'm looking for some tape. I ran out of tape, so I only got half my paper tape down. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna make a super cute pop-up card. All right, so I've taken a half sheet of um, black cardstock, this four quarter by 11, and just scored it the five and a half mark. And we're gonna press that down. And then I took each of my designer papers and I cut it four, it's four inches by 12, so I could get three on a sheet of designer paper. And then I cut it at five and a quarter. So this is five and a quarter by four, and that fits right on the front of our um, of our card front. This one had the blue stars in the background. Okay, so now we are left with a piece of, I didn't put that on straight. Can I take it off? Maybe. I'm looking at it and it's completely crooked. Just very carefully. See if we can get that on a little bit straighter. Maybe a hair straighter. Okay, so now I'm left with a piece, this piece. So this is six and three quarters by four. So what we're gonna do is open up our card and we are gonna put this on the inside top flap of our card. So what I'm gonna do first is just adhere the top part right up at the top and I'm leaving the same type of, of border all the way around. Okay, now I've got it down here. What I want to do is go ahead and fold it and crease that paper and then I'm gonna come in and just glue that down. Okay, so it kind of holds up a little bit when you open it and that's what I want. I want it to lay flat, but I also want it to kind of stand up a little bit when I open it. Okay, so let's decorate the front of our card. So I've got a couple planets. I've got a big and a small a big and a really small, and then I have uh, our holographic ring. And this ring will fit the two largest planets and still look good, okay? Um, the So we have two sizes. This is the big one, and it will fit the two largest planets. So if I take out the dies for the two largest, you can see that fits, that just fits in there, and then it still looks good with this next largest planet. If uh, for the smaller one, do I have a smaller ring in, in my bag? Yes, I do. The smaller ring is considerably smaller. So you're gonna use that on the next, sm oh, 
I think it's maybe the third smallest. That's the next, and then this is the smallest. So it will fit on the third smallest, and it would probably even work on this one, but it's a little bit big. So I would say third smallest planet. But we're just using one. I'm just looking to make sure I have all my supplies here. I'm looking for my gems, because now I've been messing around. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our planets on. on. And I'm just going to adhere this one flat. You'll see why in a minute. I'm going to put it up in this kind of that area. And that feels pretty secure. And then I've got this one little planet. I might just pop him up because he's pretty small. On our projects this month, we all had different planets, different sizes. So all the cards look different, which was really, which was a lot of fun. Okay. So um, we're going to set that aside. We've got our planets on. We're going to do our stamping now. So I have three pieces of basic white. And I will put all the measurements on my blog so you can check that afterwards. And this, uh, the smaller piece is gonna go inside. So I'm gonna stamp, greetings friend. And I'm just using Memento ink, that's the only color ink I'm using. And we're gonna stamp this up close to the top. All right. And then on this one, I'm going to stamp um, your stellar. Now on my on my stamp, I did not get my sticker on straight, which is a problem, unfortunately. But you know, sometimes I might have to stamp this a couple times. Oh, I did it! I did it the first time! <laughs> Yay! Okay, now this is a quarter sheet, a quarter sheet um, of basic white and what we're going to do is stamp our astronaut and I love this astronaut because he's realistic looking and I want to make sure I get him really inked well really dark we're going to stamp him right here and give it just a second to make sure all that ink transfers nice and then we're going to stamp our space shuttle Make sure you get all the way to the ends and to the wings and you get good coverage on that. We're going to stamp the space shuttle right here. All right. Don't they, they stamp really nice? Okay, I think I'm done stamping. So we can take, we've got our die to cut out our space shuttle and our astronaut. So we're going to run those through the die cutting machine. They come out looking like this, okay? Now I looked at pictures of the space shuttle. The space shuttle has no colors on it. So we're gonna just leave it black and white as is. We're gonna pop that up on our card front. I'm just using three of the minis. If you wanna use 10, you can use 10. And I'm gonna have this going, kinda go in there. And then I'm gonna do this Your Stellar. We're gonna cut this apart. Whoops, there goes my flying scissors. I might even trim it down just a little bit. I stamped this on a, on a quarter or on a half inch strip, but I think I'm gonna bring that down just a hair. I'm just using one one little dimensional. We're going to pop that up right there. And let's trim this one down a little bit. They don't have to be perfect. I'm going to stick one dimensional right here. Your Stellar. Now I'm going to take, I've got some glossy, glossy dots. Oh, here they are. I can pick them up off my desk. And I have the purple. I'm gonna take one right here. They just add that fun, 
fun glimmer to the card too to go with that holographic because they're almost holographic looking. Isn't that, I mean, just that is adorable. But we are going to step it up today and we're gonna make an awesome pop-up card. Okay, so I'm gonna take this greeting friend for our inside. And I'm gonna glue this to the close to the bottom, leave your border. Okay, so we have a little bit of, of space right here above our, our inside sentiment, okay? Then I have a piece of black. Now I have scored this right here on one end, and then the other end has two score lines. So I'm gonna fold them in like this, okay? And then straighten back out, and on the outside of the folds, I am going to put tear and tape on the two end pieces. You know, if you can put it close to the fold, that's great, or in the middle, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we have this one has one, one panel, this has two panels on the end. So I'm gonna take the single panel right here, and peel off that double-sided tape, and I'm gonna lay this face down flat and butting it up right to the edge, right inside the fold. So it's not coming up on here, it's right at the crease, coming down. All right, right in the center. So when you pull it up, you can see it's sticking straight up like that. Now, I'm gonna fold up both panels. So I have the panel with tape, and then this, the empty small panel. I'm gonna fold those up, remove my tape, Make sure that's straight, and then I'm just gonna close my card and press on it. All right, so that will stick exactly where I need it to. So you can see my pop-up mechanism. Trying to get that so you can see it pretty well. Well, oh, I'm going the wrong way. This is like backing up. <laughs> I can't, I'm not good at it. There we go, hold on. Okay, nope, nope. Oh my gosh, why can't I aim it? And I'm looking right at it too. Here we go. Okay. Kinda hard to see because it's black on black, plus I can't seem to hold it in the camera the right direction. So I apologize for that. Okay. Anyway, if you didn't see that, watch it again. <laughs> now, I'm gonna take my astronaut, and I did look at astronaut outfits, and they have a little color. Now, some astronaut outfits are completely orange. I did not want to color it completely orange. So I am coloring the shoulder patches and then the little air hoses. All right, excuse my head because I cannot see the color. I have to tell you that, you know, my daughter, my oldest one majored in film in, in college, and her thesis film was um, about space. And we had to, you know, she had to make a space costume and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Okay, so now I'm putting adhesive just on this long leg. Not all the way up, just like from, you know, mid thigh down. And I'm going to stick him on this, this long strip, but not near the bottom, because I want him floating in space. If you want to put it at an angle, you can. I'm just going to put him straight and close that up so that when you go to open your card, he's floating in space. Isn't that cool? I think that is so cool. Now, if you wanted to add, you know, something to gloss up his helmet, you could do that. So he has, you know, you know, they have the, the glossy helmet that goes on. So you could do that if you wanted to go an extra step. And if you wanted to, let's just add maybe an extra planet back here. Since I have extras, I'm just going to go ahead and add a fun extra planet. I'm going to do, do it over here because I like having that right there, and then let's add a little purple planet, kind of down there. I'm not gonna pop them up because this is the inside of the card, and I want it to be flat. 
But I mean, who wouldn't want to get a card like this in the mail, open it up, and oh my gosh, so fun. Love this. Now, before, before I did the video, I was thinking of all the ways you could use the space paper and, um, and with some of the other stamp sets. So I don't have all the stamp sets that I want to use with it, but very soon uh, I'm gonna get those and I'm gonna do a whole week of mashup um, cards using different, different stamp sets and dies from the catalog used with the space paper to show all the fun things you can do with it. Now this paper is on 15% off this month. When you order the bundle, you get 10% um, off the bundle. So uh, this, is, this is such a great set. I'll be using this more in the future. Uh, this is great for treat holders. They have like, if you're doing a birthday party for, you know, a little boy or a little girl and they wanna have a space theme, they sell, you know, space rock candy. They sell little gliders that are made out of um, shaped like space shuttles. So you could do all kinds of little party favors um, and treats and fun cards. I just think this is the best suite uh, we've had in a while just because it's so much fun and different and love this holographic paper. Um, yeah, awesome suite. So today, just a reminder, Today is the last day to um, order an, online using the host code. And if you do, you will get a pack of last Thursday's uh, card kit in the mail. They won't be stamped, but they um, all the pieces will be die cut that you need. So that's going on. Today's the last day. So, you know, if you ordered this suite, um, you would qualify and get a set of cards in the mail for free to make. Um, so I will post the host code below and then all the measurements for this fun card along with pictures will be on my blog. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me just see who's watching. I can say hi. Hi, Kathy. Whoops. Got my finger. My buttons. Oh, I did. this. Kathy. I see Kathy watching. Who else is watching? Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Usually we have Kat on, but, um, and Kat's already made this card because she came to class this month. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, and I will see you on Saturday. I've got a fun um, 4th of July card for you. Uh, so I hope, hope you come back and check with me then. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and I will see you all soon. All right, bye-bye.